Hey guys, welcome to another video on VP Concepts. This is a wonderful video to make for you guys this month of May. Uh, it is a dream come true for me, a, a lifelong desire, and uh, we hit 6,000 subscribers this month, so it's a very happy month for me in May. Uh, this video, uh, as all of them, is about sharing with you guys my journey. Uh, thank you uh, guys for the 6,000 subscribers, the likes, the comments, uh, the, the, the negative comments and posts and trolls are, are really going down on my channel through the years. A lot of insightful, intelligent, uh, 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 knowledgeable uh, individuals with great perspective on the audio industry and the hobby uh, come to share on my channel. And I, I really love the support, guys, and, and the knowledge I've gained from you. So, um, you know, I always say it doesn't matter what you know in this, in this hobby. There's somebody that knows more. So uh, in, in, in my experience for this month, I wanted to share with you guys, uh, you know, there was a memory I had when I was 15 years old, sitting in my mom's house, and uh, she had a cassette player, a Pioneer. Uh, and it, it was uh, uh, hooked up to an old uh, two-channel uh, receiver with a tuner in it, you know, something like a, I don't even can't remember the name, it wasn't like a Marantz or anything fancy, but... Uh, it, it did the job, right? And on Saturdays, I would play Men at Work, and there was a song called Down by the Sea, and I just loved that song. And I would put that song in on the cassette and lay on the couch. It was Saturday morning. I would have the neighborhood open, or, or the uh, door open to the neighborhood, and back then, you could do that, right? Uh, Saturday, all the all the neighborhood was full of kids playing and and. And, you know, the parents were off doing their thing on Saturday at Home Depot or whatever. And you'd have your, your doors open and just do whatever you want on a Saturday. And I would listen to music and I would have that cassette playing. And that sound, that sound of that Men at Work song, Down by the Sea on cassette, was so good. I would just get lost. I would just doze off into sleep when I heard it. I, it just it was so beautiful. And then I ended up having an Alpine head unit and a, and a Clarion uh, in my car. Uh, that was a uh, cassette. Actually, I think the Clarion was CD, but the uh, Alpine was cassette. And I, I love that. Matter of fact, uh, I was on the Las Vegas Strip. Well, I was think 20, I was 21 years old. I had a, I had a Volkswagen GTI, the original Rabbit, an uh, 83 GTI. And I had my Alpine in there and I had broken the uh, cable or the switch on my heater and I couldn't turn it off. And it's a, it's a Saturday night, I'm on a Las Vegas Strip cruising, and the freaking heat's on, man. And if you guys have ever been in Vegas, I mean, at night at least it's a little bit cooler, but damn, the, I was playing Pat Metheny Travels. And uh, I know, right? What a song to be playing on the Las Vegas Strip. But I was, I was playing Pat Metheny Travels. And uh, the cassette got so hot because of the heater being on that it ruined the tape. I remember that like yesterday. I was so pissed because that was a double cassette tape. But... Um, you know, just my memories of cassette uh, in my mom's and in the car uh, uh, really brought back memories. And, and I, I, you know, we went to CD, obviously, because of convenience. I don't think CD necessarily sounded better, especially back in those days when the DACs were so new. So I started on a journey uh, uh, last month to find a cassette deck. And I was going to start with a cheap one. And I ended up... Uh, you know, going over to Nakamichi because uh, growing up, Nakamichi was it. It was the, the, you know, the king of all cassette players. And I thought, wow, what if I could get a Nakamichi? I started looking into it and I, and I you know, as, as I'll show you guys in this video, my journey from one, one Nakamichi to the ultimate Nakamichi um, and how I got it running and my story behind this. So uh, I just wanted to preface this video that this is my journey into finding the ultimate Nakamichi cassette deck and having it in my audio system to share with you guys. So I hope you enjoy the video and let's get to it. Hey guys, welcome to another video. This video is probably the second, maybe third video I've done in my three years where I had something disappointing to say or something didn't work out. Um, this story is about my search for a Nakamichi cassette player. I chose the 480 um, because of its vintage look, uh, had a lot the original uh, transport mechanism in it. Um, looked for one that was in mint condition, serviced, thought I found one on eBay from a uh, 
store called Brick Audio 77 um, on eBay, and they're out of New York. And uh, I thought I was gonna have great communication. I was gonna get service details on the work done, um, that it would be shipped in a timely manner, and none of those things happened. Uh, it, I didn't, I bought it on a Wednesday, was told it would ship Saturday, it did not. It shipped the following Saturday. So already the transaction started bad with it getting shipped a week late. Um, and as I tried to communicate through the website or through eBay with them, hey, I see this was serviced. You say it's in mint condition, it must have been serviced. They said, yes, it was. Our service was a Nakamichi, our service department is a Nakamichi tech that originally worked for Nakamichi. Wow, okay. So I wrote back, great. So am I going to be getting the paperwork on the service done? No answer. A couple days later, hey, my item is not showing movement since last Friday. We ship on Saturdays. That's all he said. Not that I know it's a week late. Sorry, we didn't get it out. Oh, the paperwork you requested, we don't provide that or we do provide that. Nothing. So now I'm starting to get worried. So by Friday, I'm like, dude, it's been an extra week. Where's my product? Where's the service records on this? What do you go, what's going on? And he wrote back, uh, I think it had the belts and the pinch roller replaced, but uh, we, get a, we get a lot of uh, calls and it's late at night. It's, it's like nine o'clock Eastern time here or 11 o'clock Eastern time here, good night. Just cut me off. So at this point I was really getting worried about the, uh, what I was gonna get, okay? So when it arrived, it was uh, a filthy, dusty mess. Um, it had it had just dust and filth all over it and grease and I, I cleaned it all got it beautiful looking um, it took about an hour got the plastics all cleaned um, I have a special plastic cleaner and a plexiglass cleaner I use um, you know checked everything plugged it in switches worked fast forward rewind play I thought okay uh, I might make it through this okay and uh, the Dolby noise reduction as soon as you push it in. <laughs> Crack pop, tried another tape, plugged it in. The left and right speaker started cutting in and out. So I unplugged it immediately. Reached out to them, hey, I've got an issue. They said, oh, okay, why don't we start a return and uh, look at it and get and look at the Dolby noise reduction when we get it. It should have passed our inspection. And I'm like, no, no, I'm not. I'm done with this transaction. I want a refund. Haven't heard back. So I um, went through eBay and uh, tried to upload photos and uh, do a, an official return. And it says at the top, the seller does not accept returns and may decline this. And that you're, protect, you're protected by eBay guarantee. And when I tried to upload photos, it wasn't accepting the photos to start the return because for some reason to start the return, you had to have a photo and it's, it keeps saying, send a JPEG or something else. And I, I am sending a JPEG, right? So, uh, wow guys, wow. I, I waited two weeks, bought all my tapes. Um, check this out. Got a bunch of tapes. I got uh, Pat Metheny and Foreplay and Men at Work and The Police and Led Zeppelin and Super Tramp. Um, I, I, I picked up two select cables, um, analog cables for the Record In and Out, um, the Select series. I even got a set of carbons I was gonna AB um, you know, uh, uh, against the selects and do a fun video, but alas, I got a busted ass cassette player after that kind of treatment and, and shipping on eBay. So um, I made this video so that uh, I can warn you guys with Brick Audio 77, um, uh, if, if they take care of me, this video is not gonna go out and you're not gonna see it. But uh, if you are seeing this because they didn't take care of me and I didn't get my money back or they're, 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 you know, they charge me shipping back or whatever the situation is going to be. It's not looking good. So guys, buyer beware on eBay, um, you know, with this seller. Okay. So, uh, hopefully we'll have some better news. Uh, maybe I, I, I got a bead on a CR seven a that I, um, will obviously have to send it for service cause it's older, but I might grab that. So there might be some good things coming out of this, but this is part of the hobby guys, as you know, man, sometimes you, 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 you try to look at a seller with good feedback, good pictures, um, seemed like a great uh, company to deal with. And as soon as I paid for it, $512 with shipping and tax and everything on this baby. You know, cassette decks have gone up in price stupid because it's getting back into style, just like vinyl. All right, so with that, I just wanted to share you my experience this afternoon. I still have a damn empty, empty shelf over here and uh, even got my 
my still points over here <laughs> to put under the cassette player, but this is where it was gonna go on my empty shelf. So uh, with that, guys, hey, you win some, you lose some right in this hobby, but hopefully it'll all work out in the end. There's our view out the, to the water on a beautiful Friday afternoon. Take care, guys. Till next time. Guys, we're back, and I have an update on this 480. Um, so I disputed it with them, let them know it was broken, the Dolby B button. And they uh, said, oh, send it back and we'll check the button, okay? And I was like, no. So um, I uh, tried to return it. They were being difficult on the return. I wasn't able to upload photos to initiate the return. I ended up having to go through eBay's um, uh, money back guarantee and they fought for me and got the money back and I sent it back. So not a good experience with that company in the end. Uh, I suggest not buying from them from my personal experience, but you can make your own choices. Um, but that was my experience. Okay. So, uh, the fun update. So, uh, I went over to a friend's house and listened to his Nakamichi's. He had a bunch of vintage knocks and I'll explain what this is in a minute. <laughs> uh, that came from his house. And while I was there, we listened to the ZX7. We listened to the uh, 1000 ZXL, awesome machine. And we also uh, had the uh, ZX7 there. Now that I've shown you the pictures of those, those were actually his units. Uh, he had a CR7A. And that's why I was over there. Because in the time that I was reading about Nakamichi's and really diving into the cassette knowledge, I found out uh, during that two-week time that I was not getting the 480 sent to me that I really wanted a CR7A. And they are like hen's teeth. Very rare. The unicorns. Um, and my friend happened to have one. And he was selling it. It had, believe it or not, the original box, the original uh, user manual, the original service guide, the remote, and believe it or not, the original record and playheads still sent from Nakamichi. Uh, where is it? Let me get my glasses here so I can show you guys. <clears throat> Look at this, I gotta show you this. Original shipping, Nakamichi USA. So in Santa Monica, California, can you believe it? So um, this actually was, it's still in the original box, the playing record heads. Wow. So what a, what a freaking jackpot. Now um, I'm gonna show you a video of it now real quick. Uh, and uh, it doesn't play. Uh, I need to get a service on it, but all the functioning button, all the buttons come on and click and work. Uh, it's in really good condition. One small nick in the bottom of the face plate, the bottom lip, but I could probably get that fixed. But, um, you know, it's not that big of an issue. It doesn't show up on the shelf. But uh, I'm going to show you a video of it right now. Here you go. the update from the 480 to the CR7A. There's a local business here that I'm going to have it serviced at, new belts and oiled up and everything and cleaned up. And then um, depending on who opens up, because getting a service on this thing, a full rebuild is quite a process. The two guys that I called, there's like a year and a half waiting list. So we'll get her up and running, get her functioning properly, up to spec, and then uh, maybe in a year or two or whatever, I'll, I'll have a rebuild done on it once those guys open up. But uh, in the meantime, what I'm going to do is we're going to fade to black and we're going to go to the video where this baby's plugged in and we're going to listen to it. OK, that this is a multi-part, you know, uh, um, journey to get this thing. And I'm going to share it all with you guys uh, plugged into the system and working. So uh, with that, we'll, we'll fade to black and come back and she'll be sitting on that shelf. Guys, we are back, like I said, and yes, she is home. And uh, I'm going to 
uh, uh, give you guys an audio demo. We're going to talk about this for a second. But first, I want to show you guys. Um, I'm not allowed to give the information out. I really wish I was. But there's a uh, there's a, a store that I was referred to by a local friend who was able to get this in the shop. Had it fixed in a week. He was super awesome, very knowledgeable. But he's really backed up, and he really doesn't take on that much new stuff when it comes to um, these cassette players. So uh, I he, I basically had a solid done for me, and I'm so sorry I can't show that info with you guys. But um, at any rate, I do have a, a, a short video clip I wanna show you guys of him repairing it, uh, just going over it and opening the top. I thought it was really cool if I caught some footage of that for you guys. Uh, so here it is now. The oxid down there. Then we're gonna give it play stop, play stop, because if you watch, when I hit play, watch the gear. See, see how many times it turns? Now, when I hit fast wind, um, it only turns a little bit, see? And the reason they have that cam there is there's three switches on the cam, see? These three, now one of them, when the cam goes up, it tells, stop driving because the head's up where it belongs. One of them turns on the wheel motor and uh, the other one tell it when it goes down. So if the switches don't make connection, it'll keep going up and down and up and down and up and down, or it'll go up and the motor won't pull. Okay, that was cool, huh? Just seeing the inside of it. So um, basically, we've got a, a little bit of a cloudy day, guys. So I'm really hoping that this video comes out for you. But I really wanted to finish this and get it up by mid-month. So here she is uh, in all her glory. Um, she is working beautifully. And uh, I have calibrated, used the AutoCal on a metal tape and recorded uh, a song. Um, basically the same one that I always use that doesn't get me demonetized, the Kimber Cable SACD of um, uh, uh, Joe, I think his name is Joe, but I'll, I'll put the uh, information in the item description like I always do because a lot of you guys like that album. But anyway, I recorded one song, I recorded it in Dolby C. Um, I probably could have turned the master volume up more uh, because I was, you know, still learning how to record right. <laughs> But um, it still turned out really clean and really nice, but I could have increased the levels even more if I wanted to because it was a metal tape. And guys, I went through so much with this as far as buying factory tapes, learning uh, the different settings and, and quality of tapes and d different types. And you know, I'm gonna do a whole nother video on that for you guys that wanna kinda step off the deep end like I did here. Um, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a, uh, uh, an audio demo of this so we can hear how she sounds. I'm so excited to be able to present this for you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and close the, I'm gonna take you with me instead of cutting, take you with me to close these blinds. And yes, for those of you who don't follow my channel that much, I do have cloth blinds that do cover these windows so there's no echo. But you guys like that view, so I like showing it off to you, okay? So um, let's come over here and grab a chair. There's my computer audio system. Okay. There we go. Now, one cool, cool thing about this, again, is it came with the remote. How rare is that? This, this, this player is one owner, guys. The, the original box, the direction manual, the user manual, and um, the remote. Holy smokes. I mean, what are the chances of getting that, right? Okay, so I'm in the listening position here, and we're going to show you guys what a... Uh, metal tape recorded on Dolby C can sound like. Here we go.
love with someone else Well, I know that right is guys what do you think of that huh that's me pretty flip you over here and get you get you back um you know i don't have a gopro i use, I use my hand and i use a, a third thir what a iphone 13 pro max so you guys you guys get everything that i get <laughs> one takes and uh you know sometimes obviously i have to edit because time differences in the weeks that this project took but most of the time i, I like to do um one takes but um so guys Wow, what what can I say, right? I mean, the sound. Even on rainy days, it's beautiful out here. Uh, the sound is in in it's it's incredible. Um, it's it competes with the Macintosh and it competes with the Electric Company yet as far as vinyl and CD goes. It's shocking to me. I did, had no idea how good a high end. Um, Nakamichi you know, cassette player could sound. This thing, uh, I've got some factory tapes of Pat Metheny, uh, you know, the commercial tapes pre-recorded that sound better than my SACDs and uh, XRCD CDs that I have. I have a Japanese and all kinds of different CDs. I love CDs, love it, 
Uh, I love my vinyl and now I love cassette. Um, there are some cassettes, cassettes that I've gotten that are crap. Um, uh, most of the eBay sellers and Amazon sellers are, are really cool about exchanging it or refunding it. But again, this is stuff I'll share on another video about my experience since I got this the past month and what I've gone through to learn about the settings and what the different tapes are and all that kind of stuff. But guys, from, from start to finish, the seed that was planted to get back into audio, like I said at the beginning of this video, my childhood memories to uh, having every available you know, audio format that I could within reason. I really don't want an eight track, to be honest with you. <laughs> That's for other guys to explore. But I really have fleshed out, again, my listening options from what I can listen to in the house, um, what I listen to it on, like my, my, my uh, headphones, uh, and also um, my portable. So next month, I, I, I purchased a, uh, an OTL uh, tube headphone preamplifier that blew me away uh, punches way above its price point. Very well-known brand, in my opinion, um, when I started researching about it, especially in the, uh, the headphone forums. And that, we're gonna do a video on that next month. But um, for now, guys, thank you. 6,000 subscribers, um, love and life out here in Seattle. Really have had uh, an amazing opportunity to share from Las Vegas to Seattle what I've learned and grown with. You've been along the way on all the journey. Uh, great feedback, great friendships, and I'm so blessed that I decided those few Thanksgivings ago to start the channel and start sharing. So uh, thank you for subscribing. Um, for you guys that uh, haven't known, I'm, I'm over at, at VP Concepts as well on Instagram, and uh, you can follow me over there. And I also started a TikTok too, where I just sing out the window just for fun. So um, uh, a lot of great love and support in the audio community. Thank you guys. Thanks for your friendship. Thank you for your, for your advice. Thank you for your feedback. And just thank you for watching. And until next month, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.